This is one of the great English surnames, originating in the Norman period before 1066 and having two different origins, one Old English and one Gaelic. The bearer of the English name itself has two origins, one occupational, that of a civil guard or watchman, and the other topographical, denoting someone who lived near a word, bog. Certainly Walter de la Ward, recorded in the Suffolk Hundred of 1273, lived by a swamp, and Robert Le Ward, recorded in the same 1273 Oxfordshire Hundred, was likewise a watchman. The original coat of arms was created by Sir John Ward of Surrey at the Siege of Calais in 1345. This coat of arms, with a gold-crossed flag on a blue ground, is one of the earliest recorded heraldic coats of arms. The wards of Ireland, prominent in Galway and Donegal, claim that their name derives from the old Gaelic Mac and Baird, which translates as son of the bard. Indeed, Melissa MacAward became Bishop of Clonfort, County Galway, in 1179, but the clergy were to hold a feast. In Scotland, John de Ward is recorded in 1376 as a peasant of the Earl of Douglas. This surname was also one of the first surnames to enter the new American colonies, as John Ward of Elizabeth City, Virginia, is recorded as the chief of Muster on February 24, 1624. The first recorded spelling of the family name is that of William de la Warda in the Pipe Roll of Leicestershire of 1176, during the reign of Henry XI, 1154 to 1189, known as the Church Builder. It was not until the government introduced personal taxation that surnames became necessary. In England, this was known as the poll tax. Over the centuries, surnames in all countries continued to evolve, often creating surprising variants from the original spellings.